Mr. Speaker, I just want to to thank the the member for Shozel, Mr. Speaker, for his contribution. Mr. Speaker, I just just two things, Mr. Speaker. Um, the leader of the opposition ran away, but he he spoke about titles that were bestowed upon me. Let me inform him of the titles that were bestowed upon me. Two degrees from the University of the West Indies. 1997 Parliamentary Representative for Castries East and Minister of Tourism, International Financial Services and Consumer Affairs bestowed upon me by Dr. Kenny Anthony. 2009, 2001 to 2006, Minister of Commerce, Tourism, Investment and Consumer Affairs, and Parliamentary Representative for Castries East, bestowed upon me by the people of Castries East. 2006 to 2011, Parliamentary Representative for Castries East. 2011 2016, Ministry of Infrastructure, Transport, Port Services. 2016, 2021, Leader of the Opposition. 2021, and Parliamentary Representative for Castries East. 2021 to now, Parliamentary Representative of Castries East and Prime Minister of St. Lucia. These were the titles bestowed upon me by the people of Saint, people of Castries East, given by the people, and the Prime Ministership by the majority of elected members. These are the facts. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, I just, if you know, um, they say your friends, your friends, show me your friends, that's who you are. There was a guy called Shine Barrow who was just kicked out for leader of the opposition in Belize by his party. Another one called Ronnie Yearwood was expelled by his party in Barbados. They were in St. Lucia a few, a few months ago with some people. I don't know if Bradley was there. <laughs> I don't know whether Bradley was around with the speaker. No, he was kicked out yesterday. He was kicked out, he was shined off. <laughs> so, so you better be careful. So Mr. Speaker, I, I, I just wanted to make that point clear, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, on, this, on one point, the two and a half percent benefit security levy, we've made a point over and over again that we never said it would have gone into, we never said it would have gone into a lockbox. We said it would have gone into the Consolidated Fund for Health and Security. Make the point again. The first year, it collected $8 million. This year, it is projected to collect $33 million. Health expenses in this country are in excess of $143 million. Make the point again, Mr. Speaker. The health and security levy goes into the consolidated fund to be used in the consolidated fund, and out of there, we spend $143 million for health, Mr. Speaker. That's what it's used for. It is not like the dollar fifty for gas, which when the public of Telusha were told that 150, 150 cents would have put in a lockbox for road construction. I never said that a health and security levy would have been put in a lockbox. I always said it would have been put into the consolidated fund, and that is where it goes. Just want to make it clear, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I will not speak about the OKU or going to health. I just want to thank ministers for the support, Mr. Speaker, and tell you that the, the National Trust continues to play a very important role, Mr. Speaker, because our patrimony is not exactly our checkbook. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.